What's going on, my peeps? Lambo here. Today we are going to finish making uh, this cell location right here. Made this yesterday on stream. Kind of did all the decorating, got it looking how we wanted it. Today I need to coat it all up. Probably add a little bit few, uh, a little bit more props to it. Uh, yeah, silly stuff like that. So if you missed yesterday's stream, this is what I made. Basically found a plane model online made it look kind of old and then found some foliage and started decorating it trying to make it look cool you know like it's been here for a million freaking years <laughs> so that's basically what we're gonna be doing today is making a placeable Faber what's going on buddy you on the U on the YouTube side welcome 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 my friend hope you are doing well today just uh marveling in what we made yesterday you should add tulips did you mean tips i think i think tips and stuff are on i'm pretty sure or on youtube it's called super chats or, or maybe maybe i don't know what i'm talking about and you do i have no clue i'll have to look at it but if you missed yesterday's stream, this is what we made. So what I need to do now is kind of go in. We're going to make the i3D. And then after that, we are going to code up an XML. And then after that, we <laughs> man, a lot of processes to this. So we're going to inject it in the map so it loads up with the map. And little things like this is what's going to require a, a new save. So I'm trying to get all this stuff done before I do my public release of the map here. That way I don't screw up your guys' save game when I add more stuff. So all the vital stuff like cell points and fill type changes and all that, I'm really focusing on that so we can get that cruising before I send it out to you guys. So in order to get started here, let's, uh, you know, unfortunately we need to close the game and open up the old Giants T Editor. I think uh, Ruins Plane, is that the one? We're gonna open it up and see if you're on the YouTube side make sure to slap that like for me you know I appreciate that any stuff that you might enjoy it's super dark in here I, I really need to remind me to remove this light <laughs> it's just super dark so in order to do this we are going to uh, we're just gonna be what is the wood cart container I don't even know what that is delete so what we need to do now is I'm going to hit save on this again we need to track in down inside of the game I'm going to show you guys how I would do it if I didn't have any templates already made so I would go to placeables and we are going to look for either the selling station generic or yeah, let's just do the selling station generic so let's uh Let's go right into here. I think the no cover one is the one that's silly. So let's actually just let me uh, minimize this for a hot second. And we're just going to grab this and drag it in there. 
Okay, now that we got that in there, we can start to set this up. And what we are going to need out of this grain gate... I got kind of a raspy throat today. Let me fix that really fast. Man, it sounds like I just died when I coughed. I saved you guys from it. Uh, we are going to need a tip collision. We are going to need unload trigger marker. We're going to need most of this except for the seed plane, the cap, and the c collision. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that. We're going to click on that. I don't know what the player... Oh, the player trigger is for the animation. We don't need an animation. So actually just the unload trigger. AI left, right. Unload trigger marker. Teleport left, right. The tip collision and a tip collision update area. Those should be all we need. So let's say hit copy. And then we're going to paste that into here. Now we can delete that grain gate. So we want, first things first, let's do where we're actually going to unload this at. And I'm kind of aiming for in front of the boat, man, sorry, in back of the plane boat. I don't know what to call this right now. It technically would be a boat because it's floating, but it's still a plane. So <laughs> it's kind of a tough one. We'll go up here to static so we can learn a little bit about this trigger right here. Whenever you're making an unload trigger for a generic fill type, I'm not talking about bales. Bales are different. Uh, we're going to be running with a static rigid body type with a collision and a trigger. And what is that? 4 million? 4D million collision mask. And right here, kind of understanding some of this stuff. Non-renderable. If we don't do non-renderable, it'll show up as a box. So you make sure, want to make sure that's clicked. So if you're going to be making one from scratch, which you totally could, that's how you would do it. Now this needs to be big. It needs to be a big offload trigger because we have some big boats. So we're actually just going to make this super big. Right about there. And we might actually have to put another loading platform out here now that I'm really thinking about it. So if we went to section which yesterday, if I remember correctly, it didn't have any collisions on these, so we are going to have to make a collision box for these guys, which isn't too difficult. So we're just going to duplicate this to add another section of the raft right here. So if you are unloading from, say, one of the bigger, one of the bigger boats and you can't quite get the fill trigger to pop up, you'll be able to offload them onto this ramp, raft, whatever you want to call it, and make the sail. So while we're doing that, let's actually make a custom collision too. And we're going to cut that, go here to section. We're going to paste it in there. Now we got this cube, right? Let's uh, going to go like this. That is not even at all, is it? Going to go right about in the center. We're just going to tediously make this a little bigger. Drop it down to where it is just barely poking up and then make it a little wider here. And about there should be good. Uh, actually a little smaller. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Ever so tiny smaller. Okay, I am happy with that. Now I'm gonna change the name right here. Then from here, we are going to zero out our freeze transformations. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Just grinding away, grinding away. Another day, another day. We're going to go uh, back to transform group and we are going to change this to like 200. It doesn't really matter because it's going to be non-renderable. And then we're going to click this little button called rigid body. We're going to get a mesh cooking error down here. Don't worry about that yet. And for rigid body, honestly, you can just leave this as is from when you create it. We're gonna go to shape and we're gonna click on non-renderable. So now that collision is there, but you can't see it. And with that, we should add it to this section now. So now that has a collision and we're gonna, I'm gonna go to each section and add it in. That way we have full collisions all the way around here. I got one more. No, I got a couple more sections to go. Nope. One more here. Paste that in there. Did it paste? 
Why didn't you paste? There we go, now it's pasted. Do we have it doubled? Nope, we don't. Okay, we're gonna add another collision right there. Okay, now that's fixed, I have collisions. In uh, the stream yesterday, I didn't have collisions on these when I was on these rafts that I made here when we were cruising around. So let's collapse everything. We're gonna get rid of this terrain editing brush. We don't need that for this right now. From here, we need to start playing with our unload trigger again. So now we got this really long one. We're actually gonna make it pretty wide too. So it'll accommodate all the boats. Should be good. That's really big, but it's gonna be the middle of the ocean and you're gonna be working with some big boats. So I think that's gonna be fine. Now we're gonna come up here and freeze transformations. When I click this, it's gonna zero this stuff out or one it out, I guess, and we'll be good. Okay, we're gonna leave that up because we're gonna have a little bit more dinking around to do. So AI left, AI right. These two, for my map, it's not really gonna matter that much because I don't think you're gonna be having AI drive out in the middle of the ocean. It just doesn't work that great with the water and the dirt and all that. But I would just move that over to here. And then same thing with the unload trigger marker, just kind of trying to move that to the center of where that cell point is. I'm going to lift it up a little bit so you can see it from the boat. Uh, we're going to do the teleport node. Now I don't really need a left and right teleport node. We're just going to do one. But when you teleport in here, I, I think we're going to go right here. Lift it up just a little bit so you don't spawn inside the wood. And then let's work on our tip collision. Now a tip collision, we're going to go to visibility Ability. Yep, right there. Now our tip collision needs to be roughly the same size as our unload trigger, which is gonna be kind of challenging. So we're gonna go to non-renderable again and show that. And then we're gonna go to here and make this somewhat fit the exact size of our unload trigger. And this will like, let's just example here. If you were selling oats and oats were not accepted here, this tip collision does not allow you to drop it, plus it'll tell you not accepted here. So that's how that works. But now that we have that all set up, we need to one that out as well. And we will hit visibility off again, go back to our unload trigger and make that non-renderable. And now our all that fun stuff is gonna be set up. Actually, I'm gonna go back to that, make that renderable one more time. We have one more thing to play around with and that is the tip the tip collision start, tip occlusion. And our start and end, we're gonna go right for here, right on this corner. I just did a control B right there. I need to get one of those tools that shows my hotkeys because there's a lot of hotkeys. Hey, now that we got that, I'm gonna bring it on over here look at my transform we, we want to stay at zero for our translate so we might have to adjust that after we do this here okay yeah let's see gotta adjust it just a hair okay so that's done Put it up after we do some non-renderable stuff okay this should be good to rock and roll now so let's hit save on it and then we're gonna bring this back up Close that out. And from here, we are going to steal this selling station generic. I don't want to mess with the in-game one, otherwise we'll get some errors. So I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to go to my water world map and paste it inside my cell stations. Wherever that is. Cell stations right here. I got a bunch in here already. We're gonna go like this and paste it in here. Oh, never mind. I already have a generic one in here. So let's go up one so I can edit the name for just a hot second. Come here, we're just gonna give it a quick name, Jans. Okay, now that I have it there, I'm gonna put it back in that cell station folder. So now it won't 
replace the other one we had. Okay, so I got this going now. We need to marry up the i3D with the XML, which isn't too difficult at all. We're gonna open that up. Maybe, someday, someday, okay. So we got this set up now. Uh, let's go down the line here. And we are going to need to change some names here. So this is Jan's boat stop. Uh, we don't have, actually, I think I do have an image I made yesterday for this. Let's uh, jump into here and make this, uh, I think it's under mods. I created an icon for it yesterday, so we'll have to grab that out of here really fast. Little Mike, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, appreciate you. Thanks for popping in. I found it. Jan Boat Stop. So now I'm gonna copy that into my placeables. Go back to the cell station. We're just gonna paste it in here. Now I need to remember this path here. It's gonna be placeables, cell stations, and then jam boat stop. Now if I want to make this a little easier on myself, I could technically find one that's already made so I can steal some code out of it. Oh, it's over there. So not too bad. Copy that. We're gonna this image location right here. Gonna paste that in there like that. Marry stuff up, and then we need to take that name as well of that and throw that in there. Now, uh, hey, you can go away now. I'm done with you. We're gonna put that name right in there. So now it'll show that image. What's up, James? How you doing, my man? Good to see you in here. Thanks for popping by. I appreciate you. Uh, we do not want this to show in store. We don't want it to be sold. That all looks good. We do need to put this in here and copy and paste this in here. Placeable cell stations. We want to, uh, this is not named yet, so we should make it the exact same as the XML file just for simplicity's sake so you don't get lost and confused. So let's save this now under our placeables. Tell station jam, save, check. Okay, so now we have an I3D and now we have an XML. Now there is a bunch of code in here we're gonna have to marry up. We can just hit save on that. I like to hit save a lot, we all know that. <laughs> Otherwise I start screaming and yelling at this dang game. Oh, let's go down the line here. So we are finding our image. That's the right spot. We have a name for it. We have the location of the i3D. That's all pretty generic stuff. Uh, I don't have any animated parts in this. So I'm gonna remove that part of it. There is no longer a cap. Same thing with this stuff. I need to downsize this so we can start marrying it up a little bit. Uh, the first one is asking for the player trigger. So we don't actually have a player trigger in, in here anymore. That's for the animated part. But we need to tell the game where the unload trigger is, and that's going to be 08. Yeah, in case it crashes, which is often. Not too bad, it used to be way worse, not even going to lie, it used to be really bad. Uh, but we're going to take this index path right here, and we're going to drop it over, switch screens for you guys, we're going to drop it over into here, I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys don't have to squint, and we're going to place that right here, oh wait. Now we could use this right here. Uh, for our i3d mapping sometimes i get kind of lazy and i don't care too much uh, but other times it's good to have it so our ai left node 
these are all matched up already in the name so we would just put the node into here and then the ai right said because this is a water map i don't think the ai really matters because it's already super confused at what i'm trying to do unload trigger marker now this unload trigger marker is the little icon that pops up that tells you unload here and that is that location and there is no code here to actually tell the game any of this stuff so we'd actually need to install a trigger marker which we should have that code in here trigger hotspot marker right here unload so I'm actually gonna copy this and inject it inside of this one and we need to make sure that this this node right here unload trigger marker matches up with there and it does that's why I like uh, notepad plus plus because it highlights everything it's nice so if that that word is in here it'll highlight it everywhere like that as well we whatnot uh, let's see what other code we're missing out of here right now cell station olive da, 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 da. I think that oh we're gonna need a hotspot for it and the hotspot allows you to fast travel to it let's inject that in here now I don't know why I got all these spaces in here there we go okay unload trigger marker da, da, da. I actually want the teleport. I don't have a teleport node in here. I'll teleport. Yes, I do. On the i3D, I do. This would be this trigger right here. I don't have an i3D mapping for it, so. Okay, we're getting very close to this actually just being a working cell station already. Uh, this is all the items that it's gonna sell. Now, not exactly everything that I want to sell is in there. So what we're gonna do is I need to kind of mimic some of the other stuff that the other cell stations do. So Jans can be price competing. Now I don't, I don't really care about selling those goods right there. Let's zoom out just a hair so I can see what the hell I'm doing. So we're going to remove these and then I'm going to also remove this one. We're going to put some more stuff in there, but we have to find what fill types we want to use first. Now I have a ton of fill types that I've injected in already. So that'd be essential oils and silly stuff like this. So I'm actually just going to grab this and pull it on over to here. Now it's going to put this in here. I don't, I don't want them. I don't want Jan to pay more. Let's try to marry up all this. Oh man, that's going to be impossible. <laughs> I don't want uh, Jan's to pay more than the president. So I'm actually going to do a price drop all around the place here. And actually tune is all really already paying really good. So there's plenty of places to sell fish, can crab, stuff like that. Fertilizer. I'm gonna do a two on that one. Now this price scale is, I believe it's doubling. So if something's selling for a dollar normally through the in-game menu, I believe it'll sell for two dollars if you have a price scale of two and whatnot. Essential oils. We're just gonna do one. Government grant, antibiotics. You know, I kind of want Jan to be grabbing some government grants. And she's gonna pay decent for antibiotics as well. So let's put a 0.5 on there. Gold ingots. I don't want her to compete with the smokers. So we're gonna do a 0.8. Uranium rods, probably drop that one down too. Drop that one down, drop that one down. So she's just under. Okay, so to finish this off, I need to put every one of these names right here, right here where it says fill types. And I might get lucky and I might have it already up here and I do. 
I am lucky. So we went all the way from Consumer Grids to Cantuna. The simple way to do this so you don't dink stuff up is to, just to pull right from your list right here. So we would go copy, paste, copy, same thing. We're just going to go right down the line here. And these have to be in there. Uh, otherwise, you will get a error that says uh, fill type not found in offload trigger whatever. Can't crab. This is a little tedious part. Essential oils. We are running out of room. Just gonna keep going here. It doesn't matter the order that you put them in here, it's as long as they're there. Let's do essential oils. Let's do government grants now. And antibiotics. Gold ingots. Ooh, almost done with this. Uranium rods. Consumer goods. Consumer goods two. And one last one here. Consumer goods three. Okay. So all those fill types should be sellable now at Jan's Boat Supply. I want to add some more, so we're going to add some more here. Not so much snow, diesel, poppy, let's see what else we got for sale here. Carrots, onions, raisins, grapes, grape juice, raisin, okay. We're going to use most of that, except for the grapes. tomato lettuce poppy and I do want to change all these prices like I said I don't want her competing with everybody else but I want her to be able to offer another cell location you're not new here Tony I always wanted to say that because you say that all the time <laughs> welcome Mr. Tony you are the man I have to say oh my little steam deck buttons are not working today well, that's dumb. I guess I'm going to have to update all my buttons. I'd give you a shout out, but I just got the affiliate and it did something to my stream deck buttons. Okay, well, that's dumb. My bad. Everybody go check out Tony. He's cool. He got a verbal shout out. Sorry, my friend. Okay, from here, same thing. We have to copy and paste all these in here, which it might be easier if I just cheat like this. I'm gonna grab them all and throw them right here and then just paste them in there. That didn't work. The <laughs> cell locations are kind of pain in the butt, I'm not gonna lie. This stuff is super repetitive. You wanna make sure there's no spacing errors, no issues at all want the name of the fill type with a space if you don't the game will get confused it will not know what honey carrot is but it will know what honey and carrot is hops oh we need to make beer and add beer to the map that'd be cool and lavender and we will do poppy as well and of course she is going to by diesel. I think that's all of them. So we're just going to cut that now and make a little space right here and then a enter. So all those are in there now. She buys a good handful of stuff. I feel like I need to add more. Maybe some furniture. Red cheese, olive oil, sunflower oil. Those two as well. Like, do a full grab. Throw those in there. Butter cheese. I think that's a good start. I'm sure there'll be something else that I need to throw in there. So I'm going to do the exact same thing here too. I'm just going to copy the names. Oh, you stupid thing.
space, sunflower oil space. Oh, can't wait till this part's done. Canola oil, olive oil. That. Cut. And we will drop that in here as well with a space. So she's selling a good amount of stuff now. Or she's buying, sorry. She's buying a good chunk of stuff. And I might actually open up another cell station and kind of selling station a toll hub. I want them to sell chits as well, so we're gonna need to add chits to this. Chits on the map are the currency of a toll. I want Jan to be able to buy all the what I call rep fill types. Uh, not for that much, but let's do like a point eight. I don't want her to compete. I just wanted to have another option. Plastics, recyclables, lime, water. Maybe waste. There's not a lot of places to take waste in this map. So we're going to add in waste as well. Antibiotics. We have antibiotics already? We did. I swear I saw it. Okay. Uh, road salt. Liquid fertilizer. Dirt. Look at dirt price scale. 15. <laughs> we'll add dirt in there too. Because dirt is a valuable resource. Tony just did my first cheer of 5 bits. Thank you, Tony. You're my first... You're my first bidder. I don't know if that's if there's a term for that, but thank you, buddy. I got five bits. That's cool. I don't, I don't even know what to do with those. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there in life. I'll learn the ways of the Twitch soon after a couple years. But that's why I got you guys. You guys keep me on my toes. I am streaming both on Twitch and on YouTube. I think my numbers might be off. It tells me there's one on Twitch and three on the old tubes. But when I look at it on the main screen, it says different. So I don't know how accurate Restream is. So now that we got those, I'm going to cut those. Did we add those in here? I already have dirt. Oh, I got lost at what I just did. What did I just do? We already have dirt in there. Oh no, this is... I was looking at the wrong one. Totally looking at the wrong one. We're way, way out of line here. This is where we needed to be. So let's pull this over now. And this is pretty generic. This is how you would make any cell station, or even edit a cell station if you wanted stuff to be at an area. Whoa, that it wasn't. What? did I just do okay copy <laughs> you see even even I who kind of knows what I'm doing still makes weird mistakes so we got chits waste dirt I think that's a good start for a cell station I'd like to lo load it up in map after we get it uh, I gotta throw it in the placeable section then we have to find a spot on the map for it so I think I have we're gonna hit save here and we need to get the map starting loading up we're going to do that while we're working on other stuff because it does take a hot second to load up the map it's a very big map so while that's loading we need to open up our placeables tab whoa come on baby you don't have to freeze up on me there we go jan's boat stop check 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 all that looks good all that looks good jan's just want to give your thing a little glance over here and make sure everything is you got your teleport nodes unload trigger that all looks good to me okay we need to now let me see if i can find it on my modding tab here we need the placeables xml okay so now i have no, I do not want to save this foundation selling. So now I have my placeables loaded up. We should take this file path name right here. I did it again. I'm hitting control C. 
Okay, and I'm going to find my cell station location here. So we're just gonna just do a control find really fast. Find next, find next. Ah, duh, right there. Hey Lambo, do you do contract work by chance? My company and AG company may be getting our small town and elevators on the map virtually. That'd be interesting. Um, I have a Discord. You can reach out to me on there. Let me uh, give me just a hot second here, and I will track down my Discord link for you. You can uh, message me on there and tell me a little bit about the project. I'll let you know if I can handle it or not. One moment. Okay. There you go, brother. I put his put in chat for you. Hey, yes, so, so, so says favor. Oh, that was my desk and that was my knee. Ow! When two things connect, it hurts. Ow! I smacked that mofo good. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Now that we're good. So I got my cell stations. This is inside my placeables XML. Uh, when a map is very first loaded up for the first time, uh, if you make any changes to this, it requires a new game save. So. I'm trying my very hardest to get all this stuff done before I've released the map public. That way I don't mess up anybody's save game. So it's very important I get that done now. And we are going to duplicate this one really fast and we're gonna make some changes here. And I'll explain with this coding. Oh, oof, invalid link. Does it say invalid link? No, it, it goes to my Discord. I'll copy it again for you here. I just, just went right to my Discord. It's the same link. Try that again, brother. Faber, Faber, Faber. Thanks for the, thanks for everything. I'm gonna explain a little bit about what this code is here. So we're gonna zoom in nice and big for you. Uh, the placeable name is gonna be mod name. Since this is a placeable inside of the map, yeah, computers, I don't know. All good, Nino, all good. Yeah, just shoot me a little proposal, kind of what you're looking at and what ideas you got, and I'll let you know if it's something I can do for you or not. So back to what we're doing here. The mod name, because this is a placeable ins installed inside of my map, we're gonna need to list the map as the mod name. Now, if I was using a different mod, such as my Fuel Rats mod, you can see I use Fuel Rats there. The next phase in this little debacle is going to be uh, our file name. So what this is saying here is mod directory, water world, and then it's going to start going down the line here for uh, for the actual name. And I already managed to ruin my copy and paste because I posted that Discord link. But we are going to replace this Mr. Clean with selling station Jan. Next up is gonna be the position, position and rotation. And this is referring to the map. So we need to find a spot on the map to put this. And in order to do that, we are gonna to have to go back. Where is my stream stuff, right? Twitch main scene. We're gonna to have to go back to our main scene. The map has loaded at this point, so that's good news. And you can see, I can't see anything at all. Now this is a 16x map, and if you don't, if you don't use a script called View 16x, because we're way outside the view range, it'll just look blank like that. So with that script installed, we can see that I have it already in here, ready to place it. Now, in order to place it, I need to find a location that looks just peachy. I'm gonna cut it from that location. And not everybody does this, but I like to do this because I have so many productions and placeables cruising with this map. I like to keep track of where all they are. I just leave these little location, I guess you would call it. I leave these in here so I can track down where they are at the end. What is combat? I don't even know what that one is. Okay, so we are going to go selling stations. Where's my sell stations at? Production, buy stations, sell stations, right there. 
Now I already have a bunch in here. So we're going to paste this one in here really fast. From this point, and when, when you make folders like this, you want to make sure they're zeroed out, zero, 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 all this kind of stuff. Uh, that way we can just go off of uh, this transform node to use it for that position and stuff like that. So I was kind of feeling... Oh, we need to turn up our nav speed just a hair. That's way too slow. I was kind of feeling off by this island here. I didn't want it to be too crazy everywhere, but like almost center of the map, somewhere right in here, would work perfect. And we're going to get down here nice and deep. Kind of hard with the water, but obviously I don't want it out of the water so we might have to lower this a little bit it's hard to tell with the reflection of the water gotta unclick off of it for a second i think i'm happy with that chance boat stop let's look at it on the overall scheme of things look how big this damn mac is it is so big i think i'm gonna be happy with that it's so little, it's so little compared to the map. <laughs> All right, so I like that location. I think it's out of the water enough. It might not be, you know, if I wanted to double check this 100%, I should go into my placeables and then go to our cell stations. Hey, Tony, you doing that, you silly man. Thank you. I'm going to have a bunch of bits now that I can wobble, sit there and grovel over. We're going to import in that cell station because this one's technically different than the one we just built. With this map, the first time I import something in, it takes forever to import it in. So bear with me for a hot second. Uh, here we go. Here we go, baby. Okay, now we're in. We're going to cut that delete that one that we just put down because this one is going to show me where the actual cell station parts are now so you can see that big box showed up that's i think that's going to be big enough for the boats you know if i wanted to get super critical here i could import in my biggest boat i have which would be the pirated container ship and let's see if this will work Whoa, look how big that damn boat is. Yes, this is a drivable boat. Now, is that going to be big enough of a cell trigger? I don't know if it will be. Eh, you know what? I think it'll work. You might have to get really close to it, but I think it'll work. Might even in the editor a little bit might even make it a little bit bigger and on also add in another dock there i think that might be something we do but it does work if you guys haven't checked out this one yet i love this boat i think it's really cool everything moves on it you can operate the crane and all that kind of stuff super cool we want to delete this though because this will cause a big error in the map we're just using it as a reference just a reference so now that we have the cell location drop down. We are going to copy this information right here. This translate X, Y, and Z. Okay. Now that I have that, let's uh, jump back over to our auxiliary screen. And this is where we would put that information. We're going to highlight this for position. Hit Control V to paste all three of the digits. And for our rotation, there is no rotation in it. So we're just going to make that a zero. Now, when the game loads, loads up, this should work 100%. Should. Should. Quote, unquote. So let's hit save on this now. Uh, the only thing I have left to do is I need to inject this inside of my mod disk. That way it loads it up in game. Because if it doesn't, it'll say can only load items that are 
loaded via blah blah blah. I can't remember the exact wording it uses, so we are going to track down our mod disk really quick. A lot of a lot of steps to this, not gonna lie. And then we're gonna put it under our store items here. So let me kinda see if I can find where I put my other cell locations. Try to keep all the stuff relatively in the same little area so I can find it later on. So here's my cell stations. I'm gonna duplicate that line and paste that in here. So now Jan, after I hit save, is completely loaded up. And I'm actually going to, oh, let's go back to our main screen now. One thing I always forget to do is delete this bad boy. So I'm gonna leave the transform there just as a visual reference for, I know where it is now. If I need to move it or change it at all, I can track down where it originally was but I'm gonna delete everything else in there. If not, it'll load in the mod, but also have that stuff that's still there and you'll have duplicates. Oh, this is gonna take a hot second, but we're gonna hit save. It does take a minute to save, big map. It's hard to hit save on this map. A lot of stuff. As soon as that little thingy stops spinning, we will restart the game and load it up. Come on, you can stop spinning now. Can stop spinning baby are we good are we good yet I think we are good good to go okay Tony what are you doing with those bits I James, yes, that is open, but I am actually going to be changing a lot of my stuff uh, this month. I'm going to be changing how Patreon works because I, I'm going to be lowering the price and also offering different functions. But if you want to help me buy more models and stuff like that, I am going to leave that option open. Uh, we need to exit the game, but I'm going to be revamping stuff a little bit lowering prices and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of that is uh, I've gotten, I've bought so many models now that I've qualified for some discounts and stuff like that through the mod or the model companies that I've been going through. So we're gonna start a completely new game and click continue, deselect all. We do want easy dev controls just for the hell of it. Yeah, I, I got the email the other day from from the th actually quite a few 3D modeling companies. They said I had spent over the $5,000 limit over the last six years. Keep in mind uh, that I qualify for a I can't remember exactly what they called it. I have to look at that email again, but basically they said I spent enough money that I get a discount. So that's cool that they take care of me. And in return, I'm trying to reflect that back on you guys. So if you still want to support heavily and help me, you know, it's a lot easier to buy models with like a $20 sign up than it is a $5 sign up. Obviously, right? Through Patreon and taxes and all that kind of stuff. I mean, with the five bucks, I think I ended up with like $3.20. So I'd have to... I'd have to have well over a hundred people signed up at five dollars to be able to buy a three hundred dollar mod. Uh, you, you could you could join up right now if you want there, James. You can go for the nifty fifty, the five dollar one if you want. Just so you can see access to everything. Uh, next month I will be announcing all the changes though. So. Okay, so let's make sure that Jane is on the map. She is not. What is going on? Oh my She's not on the map. Did we mess up somewhere? Did I not hit save on something? I don't know. Let's uh, let's turn on flight mode. I feel like I've messed up, but I don't know how yet. I'm gonna fly like the eagle to the sea. I think it messed up. 
I'll think. I was. Yeah, you've been with me for a hot minute, man. You've been with me. You definitely, uh, you know, the the Nifty Fifty originally was for people that had been with me for a long time. You know, after you've given me four or five hundred dollars, however much it was, I'd have to go look at your thing. I just wanted you guys to know that I appreciate you. And I've gotten big enough now to where it doesn't really matter. You know, I got enough support that people are giving me that I can steadily pay for all the software and stuff I use. So I appreciate you. I, you know, I, I don't know why that's not there. Then uh, we, we got an issue here and I'm not sure why. And you know, 90% of it might be an issue that I'm missing where I have a copy of the mod in here that is not world should be loading it why aren't you loading it let's go to PLDC okay it's not in there and mods why aren't you loading water world did we hit save I hit save on everything let's double check double check all this stuff we got it in here that's the mod disk uh, maybe there's an error. What did you do wrong? Ah. Can only load existing. No store item was found for. What? We put that in the mod disk. This is the error that it gives you. Uh, can only load existing store items. No store item found for XML file. Da 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 da. Selling James Station. But. We just put that in here that it's referring to this. I think, right? Water world, check. Cell stations, placeable. Let's just verify that address. Oh, placeables. Cell stations. Selling station chance. Let's go here and just double check this really quick. Make sure it's the proper name and everything. Yeah, it should be loading this up. Placeable cell stations. Okay. Make sure this one's good. I don't know why that's not working. Mod directory. This one's loading properly. If this one, if uh, your placeable is XML, if you get that this this error, it means it's loading in placeables properly, but it's not loading in the mod disk. So I wonder if I actually need to restart the game. I think that's honestly what it was. Sometimes the game gets weird like that. So actually let's quit the game and then we'll restart it back up. Go here to games, FS22, startup. That should load up our game now. Giant, that's Giants of Music trying to get me a copyright strike. New farmer. Deselect it all. Okay, another error there. What did, what did you do? Am I missing something? Failed to open. Cell Station Jan, I swear. I swear. Cell Station Jans. Ends boat stop. There is something funky going on here that I am just missing. Because it says fail to open. Scroll up here. This is good. You guys get to see some of the errors that you will be experiencing. Placeables only exists. So it tried to load in the mod. It's not reading it. Add a trigger. That's not from that. Okay, failed to open. 
My Games Mods, FS22, Placeable, Cell Station, Jan. So we need to... Did I do something silly? I think I know what I did wrong. I think I do. Back, back, uh, modding, map. Mod disk. Okay, so we're gonna bring that back over here now. I figured it out. Right here, my silly, silly, silly self. Look at this. This is what I did wrong. Dot X M L. That's what I did wrong. Just something silly. I knew it was something silly. So let's uh let's go back to the game. You're going to have to reload this again. But at least you guys learned something there. It has to be exact. If it's not exact, it will not work. Hopefully I don't have to restart the game again. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I can't tell you exactly what those times are because it doesn't happen to me enough for me to know, but every now and then I'll be pulling my hair out trying to figure out why it isn't working. Don't worry about all those yellow and red you see right there. Those are just uh, the errors you get from loading up mods that are not zipped. None of my mods are zipped. It was something small, exactly. Tony, you you keep cheering. Thank you. I appreciate you. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. You'll have to explain to me exactly what bits are. Maybe I'll watch a YouTube video later. I don't quite know how, how bits work. Is it like tipping a stripper? Is that what it is? Are you tipping me? <laughs> so hopefully, ah, look at that. She's there. Jan's boat stop. Sweet. So she's working. She's a little close to the tuna grounds though. Sweet. All right. And that's something I don't like. I want that to be raised up more. So in order to do that, we're going to have to go back to our, this guy, dance for me. You know, once I get my camera set up and a green screen, because I have a bunch of hydroponics in my office. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14 plants in my office, all, all growing hydroponically. So it'd be a cool backdrop to put a camera up. So now we're in here, trigger markers. This is what we need to do is right here where it says adjust to ground because it's a water map you know normally it would be okay on like a normal map but if you don't want it to adjust to the ground we're just going to put in false right here now this is going to take effect when i reload the map but before we reload let's see if there's anything else uh does it need to go in the water more how does the trigger look does it unload easy enough it's a little higher than i like but all the collisions are here that's good i think that's all i really needed to do i'll turn that off Okay, happy with that. So from this point, we need to do some testing. Uh, we need a boat. Let's get something that works somewhat fast, drives fast at least, but also hauls stuff. Uh, what boat, what boat, what boat to use? Chubby's pretty fast. We're gonna buy Chubby. We do not have enough money to buy Chubby. I guess we can get some more money later on. I love my tractors. <laughs> okay, so we got Chubby here. Hey, what's up, Average PC Parts? Hopefully you're the same Average from Twitch. I don't know too many people that would have that name. Let's go to 
Let's fill her up now with uh, products. Hill unit wheat, barley, canola. It doesn't buy any of that stuff. I can't remember everything we put in there that it buys. I know it buys dirt. Oh, let's find some dirt. Uh, it buys hoppy too, so we'll fill with hoppy. The weird looking pop. Oh, I guess that's what poppy would look like once it dries out. Well, let's cruise on over there. Well, welcome to YouTube there, Average. Appreciate you. If you guys are watching, make sure to, on the old YouTubes, make sure to hit that like button. I definitely appreciate it. Whoa. Calm down, chubbers. One day I'll fix that animation, so... Just zoom way out. That thing's loud. Off to see the wizard. Let's uh, look at our map here. Just so I get really disoriented in this place. And then let's activate. Is it cruise control? There we go. Activate our cruise control and start heading to Jan's. It's going to take us a second to get there. I definitely got crazy when I made this. The camera's back a little too far though. Bit of a drive, that's for sure. We're cruising though. You know, in the port I live in, if we had boats that did 75 miles an hour, wow. You know, we, most most of the boats out here where I live, especially like the charter boats, are probably some of the fastest boats out here. You know, the smaller they get, the faster they can go. But the bigger boats, the ocean rip apart a boat doing 75 miles an hour. It just could not handle the pressure from the ocean. That's why a lot of the really fast boats, they sit above the water and they'll use those fins. That way there's less uh, drag. We're starting to see something over there. This is a good chance to pay attention to the clip distance on things. Make sure everything pops up at once and not just individually a little bit at a time. Get close. One thing I wish I could do is set it up to where there was traveling. You know, where Jan was only there during certain times of the day and you couldn't see the boat that would be cool I haven't figured that one out yet though if that's even possible all right I like it oh automatically starts it's tough with this I know a lot of people want something to actually dump this stuff in but it won't work for the bigger boats because the bigger boats are so you know the offload for that would be really confusing and hard so unfortunately it's just gonna look like it's dumping in the water we're making some money though probably making too much money that's a lot of money I guess that was a lot of that was a lot of poppy too though <laughs> after we get done selling this we will take a peek in the store and or in the in the sell menu and see how that yeah one load of poppy i can't remember how many liters was in this though was it a, was it a million liters or something that's quite a bit of money for poppy i don't think i messed with the prices on that i think that's the stock from from farmer bob half a million harvest that's nuts okay not bad. Let's go into our cell locations and see if diesel. So Jan's boat stop. She's paying the most right now for diesel. Well, no, I guess the deacons are and the president. But I mean, for a mid-water cell, that's not bad. Methane, toll. 
check our errors. Any errors here? Oh, missing AI update areas. Okay, that's easy. And the easiest way to fix that is going to be take it from another I don't plan on working with AI on this but if we just put the code in like that that error will go away let's hit save on that let's check for any more errors with it wrong screen okay let's see here anything else Cool, clean as a whistle. I lock it. I'll lock it a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I think off screen, I'm gonna go through and kind of pick and make sure that I got everything properly. I wanted to find dirt, Let's see what the prices of dirt. Okay, here's the expensive stuff. Oh, Jan doesn't buy cigarettes. We need to add cigs to it. That's pretty important. I wanted her to be able to buy all the all the rep. So we would go to we got government grants in here. We need cigarettes. And I cannot remember what the cigarette code was, so let's find the smoker cell point. Cigarettes right there. Let's copy that on over. Uh, we don't want her to pay more than what everybody else is paying, but we pay a little bit. Probably less, honestly, government grant to halving the price, 1.5. Okay. We need to add cigarettes up here. And paste that into there. Congratulations, you have now watched me make a cell station. And actually, I need to make another one. For the salmon and tuna and all that stuff because I removed the old one let's go take a look at the new cell location tourist hotel we might add in some tourists for her there too but really drop the price since she's a central location to all of the facilities you know she's in the middle of the map now if you're playing on this map and your icons don't look like this, and you're using the RCG, R, is it RGC or RCG? I can't recall right now. If you're using that mod pack, it is super conflicting with my map. I do not recommend it. I'm trying to convert over, but his icons overlap mine. And I think my icons look a little bit better because I hate the text right there. It says cement on the word. I hate the text went through and spent a lot of time making the icon so I'd rather use those RC R RCG honor well I'll just call him honor <laughs> that's the guy that runs it I always forget though the his acronym so now let's uh one notable figure here is mr. clean yep mr. clean let's go look at the new fish place this is the new atoll fish cell location. It's not rigged up yet, so it doesn't actually have any code in it. I just have it injected the map, and it looks better coming from the other side. So we're just going to pretend like we're driving up in a boat right now. Come up here, and here's the dock for it. And I don't know if you guys have seen... Look, we get it. I took a big ch chunk out of that shark and gave it bones went inside whoa there's a big hole there oh that's from the other placeable that's something i gotta remember to fix i want to add some more props and stuff in here before i get going and then i want to add lingcod to the map because that's actually what that is that's a lingcod a lot of people might not know that but that big jaw gives it away it's kind of a bad 3d model but i found it on another mod and i was like yeah why not then you go inside you got Got all your tuna hanging up. So this is going to be the Atoll Fish Cell Station. 
I wanted it different than the foundation one, which is all the way over here. One of these spots. This is the atoll one, which, you know, foundation is more civilized, I guess you would call it. So it fits more in line with uh, what we have going on here. Fresh fish, baby. And I think this this cell station actually needs is really funky too. I've watched a handful of people struggle trying to sell here, so I might have to take a peek at that before I re-upload. What was that? I just saw that. Oh, that's for my wall. Okay. Easy squeezy hunky dory here. So we got Jan, she's working good. Off screen, I will, uh, look at Jan pays a lot for dirt. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Lots of dirt. Off screen, I will go through and add in a bunch of more steel sheets. I, I think the final production of stuff, like the copper, the glass, the gold, the aluminum ingots, is so cool. Yep, Jan buys gold. That's pretty, that's kind of competing. Oh, no, not really. Salvage uni, that's a lot for the smokers. Oh, Truck and Jay will be mad at me if I change that, but that's way too much. <laughs> These guys are making 16 million a run. I need to turn that down. <laughs> that's all they'll do is gold. Why do anything else if gold pays the most? Okay, so next up, I need to make a... I need to make a cell station for our... We're going to close this. Let's close the game. average he's like yup <laughs> yup I need to make a new cell location for the fish over here but oxide selling a toll I'm gonna copy this that is located inside my commercial boat pack and we are going to throw it in here instead Placeables, cell stations again. We're going to paste it in here. And then from there, we are going to import in from commercial boat pack, I3D. We're going to find that cell, dockside selling station right here. We're going to import it in to the map. gonna throw it over here okay I got this bad boy nice and set up now I actually have ha I think I had this already in here if I can find it easily if not we're just gonna go like this and cheat and I have most of the map on hotkeys on my stream deck. Oh, this is so nice. I'm not even going to lie. Just trying to track down the <laughs> the files. Because I have hundreds. I have hundreds of XMLs open right now. Hundreds. I should probably close some. But sometimes I... I didn't make 90 million on like nine trailer fulls of gold. Well... I think I saw I saw either you were trucking made like 16 million in one run and I'm like that's that's a little much you know I wanted to give you guys an option to make a lot of money because stuff like the the carrier and the big the big boat are really expensive as they would be in real life so I tried to give you guys a route to make some extra money so we need to track down the commercial boat pack and I think I have something blocked out in here or I deleted it altogether. Commercial boat pack. I blocked it out right here. I'm just gonna copy that or actually cut it. 
That way I don't get confused in the future. Cut that, and then we're gonna go back up to our selling stations. Level this out a little bit. This music is putting me to sleep. So is that. We're gonna turn that BPMs up just a little bit here. Okay, that's better. Sorry, had to stay in the mode. Pretty much trying to do it the fastest way possible. <laughs> that you are, my friend. That you are. Uh, okay, so from here, let's uh, paste in what we copied. We're going to unblock the comment. And we're going to start changing some stuff here. Water world, placeables check okay so we got water world placeable cell station stock side selling a toll and here i already reason why i copied that is because it had this position right here control c and i'm going to paste those numbers into here to put exactly where i used to have it pretty sure it's yeah that's why i thought negative 60 for the rotation. Okay, so that's the original location for it. And then I don't think any of this is going to be in the coding. Pretty sure I can delete that under visuals town store. We're just going to delete that. And then don't need the docks anymore change this okay so we're gonna move it a little bit and then I'm going to take the fish market right here and I'm gonna cut it from where it is I'm gonna throw it inside here under visuals to zero this stuff all out da, 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 da. okay we're making a new mod essentially is what we're doing oh let's get it diddy place now we're gonna have to update all that information and probably going to have to move this either to the left or to the right a little bit so we can avoid those pylons. Suck it up to there a little bit. Lift it just a hair. So it's a little flush. I feel like that rotation we used is off. Just a hair too. It needs to be a little bit leveled out scoot it over and level it out again and scoot it over okay some tedious stuff there some tedious stuff there okay let's go down the line and set everything up I don't need to do anything with the fish market that I just put in there but I do need to adjust the player trick actually I don't know why we need a player trigger was there any code in there that now that we like that location, we're going to go like this. We're going to copy these numbers. Control C. We're going to go in here and under this dock side selling a toll, we're going to replace these numbers now with the proper rotation here. Do the same thing. I hate this sometimes when it does that. Highlight something and it shoots all the way to the front. Makes me mad. R my D1, check, 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 check. Okay. So the game should load that in, but we are going to have to put this in the mod disk now. Where did we put the mod disk at? Mod disk. Open up mod disk. Hey, Truck and J rated me with 31. 
viewers. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Trey. Whoa! There goes my chat. <laughs> Woohoo! This is the most people I've ever had. I'm excited. Welcome, 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 Ra Raiders. We're doing a little modding. We're doing a little working on the old water map. Working on some cell stations right now. So we're going to copy and paste in some more code. I get ADHD really bad, so I'm going to be looking at chat, but also modding. Try to, like, bounce them both back and forth. Okay, so our store items now loaded in. That's good. <laughs> Make sure I have XML at the end of that so we don't pull another me. And then let's go in here and start looking at what we just did. Go into our map a little bit. We got our placeable saved. We got all that stuff. We got cell station. Uh, we need to open up our dockside selling station. Take a peek in here really fast. And start marrying up all this stuff. We don't want it to be sold. We don't want that. Uh, it is going to be located under under here, placeable. So we're going to copy this. Copy. <laughs> Give this dude your money now. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> You're funny. If you guys do want to support it, I uh, I do run a Patreon page and use that money to buy 3D models, pay for software, silly stuff like that. Okay, so we are digging at the right cell station. We are gonna have to make an icon for this. I'm not gonna do that on the stream because last time I did it, it dinked it all up. So we're not gonna do that this time. We're gonna wait to do the icon when you guys aren't looking, so I don't lose you. But now basically we're gonna marry up, marry up and export, so on here I have a player trigger but I don't see any there is no animation stuff in here I don't need that but if I was to delete this I would have to recode all that and I'm kind of lazy right now so we're gonna leave that we're gonna leave all this the same and if I leave it all the same uh, it'll be working as intended to when I very first because this used to have a cell station here but I had changed it and we want to be able to sell can tuna salmon anchovies i think uh we need to put canned stuff in here this doesn't have any cans that you can sell so we need this stuff right here canned tuna can't grab the copy on that we'll throw that into here and same process as before we're just going to copy and paste these fill type names into here salmon check we'll take a peek at chat again take a peek at chat again I definitely appreciate you trucking. Thank you so much for the raid. And we'll put anchovies in there and can crab. Okay. Should uh, I do want to enable price drops? So you guys don't rape the money on this guy. We're gonna enable price drop on everything. So if you bring 200,000 is a lot of money. Hey, trucking. I, you know what? I appreciate all the work that you've helped uh, because of you, Jim, a handful of other guys. I'm going to give you and Jim the most credit because you guys have been the hardcorest playing this map. And it gives me a chance to watch you and, you know, just fix everything. If not, I'd have to play the game and that takes away from my modding i like the mod i like the mod more than anything okay so we got that loaded up i do believe we have it loaded up in the mod disc that's good and then we have it loaded up in the placeables as well and we did the location already so that all should be good to go the only thing we need to do next is export this out we're going to export it out as this name called a toll so let's go here export that should be a big enough offload trigger that's really big so i th think that'll be a big enough now before i do that though this thing needs more light take this light pole here 
we're gonna copy it. We're gonna put it inside of this before we export it out. So right here where I have it under empty, I'm just gonna put in a light. Hi Lambo, is the player trigger where you fast travel to? No, the player trigger is usually used for animation. Uh, it's an animation trigger. I had an animation in one of the one of the templates I used when I made that. And I just, you know, if you leave it in there, it doesn't really do anything. As long as it's not referring back to it. Uh oh. We want to put in a couple lights here because this, this whole thing needs light. <clears throat> when I was playing around with it the other day, it just didn't have enough light. We're going to duplicate that a couple times. Something like that. And then maybe one more on the end should give us enough light we will take a peek at it inside of the game probably about uh, three or four minutes we'll load up in game you guys see what this looks like in there now i do want to add a couple more there's another light around here that i want to put in but i don't know where it is Just do a search up here industrial light Industrial. I know there's an industrial light in here. Industrial wall lights. We're going to copy that. And then we're going to go back over to our... Where are you at? Right here. Under this empty, we're just going to throw it in here. And we're going to place down one inside. See how dark it is in here? It drives me nuts. Hey, thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. Negative 90. If you're on the YouTube side, make sure to uh, slap a like for the old brother. I definitely would appreciate that. And I would totally give everybody shout outs, but I got affiliate today, so that's cool. But it, it broke my Stream Deck shout out keys that I had. They're not working now. So I have to go play with that and figure out how to do that. We're going to duplicate that light one more time, and I think right here would be okay. We're gonna load it up and change the. We're gonna change it to nighttime and just give it a little peek, and see what that looks like. Nope, not 90, maybe zero. Yeah. One light I do want to put in here. Hey, Chevy, what's up, brother? What's up, brother? I have some cool lights. I don't know if you guys have seen these guys. We're gonna take these. It's a goblet fire holder copy that because I want some fire on here you know we need fire always need fire but at nighttime these these fire holders will light up put that like right there and we'll duplicate it change it over to here a little bit this is, you know what it's really close to that Tom Riddle you talk about Harry Potter right want to get too crazy with it okay so I think that that fish cell station is probably ready to be exported out now but I want to leave I'm gonna go up to my uh, loaded items here and we're gonna import it in cell stations and delete the old one that was in there so I think that seafood store that one right there needs to be deleted and then we're gonna put that in there And then from here, we're going to export it out as Dockside Selling Station Atoll. So you can technically build uh, placeables in your map, and then you just export them out. Uh, there is a little thing you got to do to ensure that it works okay, but I will show you how to do that really quick. So we're just going to export it out into my Cell Stations folder. Okay, now that we got that, we are free to delete it now, or delete all this stuff. I am going to leave in the transform group, that way I know where I placed it at. And then from here, we are going to open it up in its own individual i3D. Come on, baby, come on. Now, it's not going to be at its location when you export it out. It's going to be at the location that it spawns on the map, because that's where we exported it. So, uh, if you try to load it up in-game, it'll 
not be where you told it to be unless these are zeroed out right here, including your rotation. So now the game knows exactly, it'll put it exactly where you want. That thing. Oh, that's the collision for, do I need that anymore? Coal shape. Oh, it's not an actual collision anymore. I got lazy is what I did there, I see. We're going to need to adjust some of this. Info trigger. That info trigger is massive. Some of this stuff needs to be changed, but we're just going to hit save and make sure all of our coding is up to date and it's working. Now from here, we're going to hit save on the map as well. I do believe we are ready to pop in into the game and check it out. Yes. Yes. Not right now, though. Not, not, not yet. It's not too hard to fix that. But yeah, there is a big damn hole right there. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Pantera Man 87 and Big Big T Bell. Appreciate you. If you guys like modding, if you like uh, understanding how farm sim works, learning to make your own vehicles placeable, silly stuff like that, anything that has to do with the game but not actually playing the game, I'm your I'm a good channel to follow. You know, if you like watching people farm constantly and go back and forth on fields. It's not my parte, but so we're now properly saved. We're going to load up the game. Wait for the game to load here. No copyright. There we go. This is what I do a lot. Just like, just like Chevy always teases me about, I will make, I'll make a helicopter mod long before I'll make a tractor. <laughs> Hopefully this works good. We're going to open up our tilde key and make sure there's no errors. You are going to see a couple. Well, actually, no, we should be good to go. So I have one trigger callback here that has something to do with something else. Not a big deal. fix everything else though oh 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 that was an error what, what did you say you just gave me an error hey blue dog stevens thank you so much for the follow appreciate it appreciate it so we had an error there unfortunately probably something silly like it was last time could not load trigger marker Oh, I know what I did wrong. I know what's going on here. So that's an error having to do with the trigger marker, which isn't too big of a deal. It's basically, it's referring to, if I can find where the trigger thing is, trigger marker. I made some custom markers in one of my mods and I, the game, because I copied this XML from my commercial boat pack, the game is basically looking for this marker XML that isn't there. So in order to fix that, we would go into a mod that has generic stuff like this one right here. Just gonna copy, I did it again. Copy this, control C, not just C. And then we're gonna paste that in here. And then that should fix it. So congratulations, you learned how to fix something today. Now that shouldn't, that shouldn't give us any errors it should load up the load up the cell station just fine. And then we'll take a peek at it at night. See how it looks. See if I need to move any lights or anything crazy like that. Whoa. I don't know why that guy keeps doing that when I load in. I'll have to probably lift it a little bit off the ground for its initial. Let's go into here and we're going to... Oh, we need to create a icon for it too. So we have a store icon error. That's right. I told you guys we were, I was going to do that off stream now. So here's the fish cell spot. <clears throat> Sorry about the cough. Now, the idea of this, you see that, whoa, there's that big hole he was talking about. I got to fix that. That's from when the other cell station was there. The idea of the shark and all that here, if I can bring up, let me bring up my discord really fast and let's go to, let's go to trucking because I think he's the last one I sent that image to. Here we go. 
So if you've seen the movie Waterworld, it it has a, a scene in there with this shark that's just hanging in there. So I tried to recreate that a little bit. I found a shark, super high poly, so I had to reduce some of it down. Uh, and then put the shark in, so it makes it look more like a fish cell market that's kind of janky looking, built from scrap, floating around at the ocean. And let's see if our triggers are all good. The only way to really test this is, hold on, wrong buttons, wrong buttons here. Everything looks good, everything looks good. Game labels, check, 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 sorry. I don't know, okay. Let us buy, we need to add some money. Let's buy a boat, fill it up with tuna. And try and make a sell. Commercial fishing boat. Go salmon fishing. I don't really care about color right now. It's crazy you say that, Ben, because I feel like the map could use more detail. More little things, more silly stuff. Just, I don't know if there'll ever be an end to this. Now, if you've never played on this map before, I set the spawn location on land, just in case you buy vehicles and all that kind of stuff. Now, the boats, you've got to drive off into the water. That's just... It, it's either the vehicle spawn on the water or the boat spawn on land. It's And I figured you're only going to buy the boat a couple times. Let's slow it down. i got to fix that, too, that flashing. That means it's just barely on the wall. I gotta fix that eventually. Let's lower her down. Oh, and uh, come on, baby, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Holy cow, this takes forever with a mouse. Getting in the water. If you're curious about where the water line is with this, it's right above the doorway. And that's where the collisions start. You can see kind of the collisions poking out at the bottom down there. Well, thank you. Thank you, Pantera. Uh, I'm shooting for around the 20th. You know, we have holidays. We have all this crazy stuff going on with family and all that. But I am shooting for around the 20th to get this out to you guys. Uh, I have probably 80 mods to tidy up between now and then to make this public. Because, you know, the, all the boats and all that crazy stuff, it's all mods. Uh, let's add... We're not going to actually go fish for tuna. We're going to just add some tuna in. Bill. Okay, let's go over to this cell location and check it out now. But if you guys are interested in following the updates and all this kind of stuff on this map and tutorials on how to actually work the map, because it is complex, it's not your typical farm sim stuff, uh, definitely hit the follow button on the Switch side and I do a uh, I do a ton of how-tos. If I see people struggling a lot, I'll make you a video. So let's see if we can offload here. This is going to work for us. Whoa! We didn't smack the dock already, we just did. I don't know, that round... That round thing is kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I like that round dock there or not. Can I get the fill drop on this side too? We need to test a couple boats. Can't get it over there. I want to be able to get it on that side too. So in order to do that, we are going to go to unload trigger. And we're going to make that a little bigger. Actually, we're not going to make it bigger. We're going to pull it over just a hair. Something kind of like that. Maybe a little bit more. We could pull up right in the front, too. So let's hit save. Go back to the game here. Now, that won't take effect until we reload. Ben says, we are our worst critics. I'd love to play the map, but my laptop died. Can't wait to sort a PC out. Hey, that's life, right? <laughs> Especially in our economy right now, it's kind of crap. 
gaming. Gaming takes a second, you know, it takes, it's last on the list for all the important stuff. Gotta make sure you can eat, especially with the price of food and stuff nowadays. So we're getting that, we're getting the, the drop icon relatively good right here. Okay. We are now selling. The offload kind of sucks, though. I'm not going to lie. Probably go a wee bit faster. Well, that's offloading. Let's open up our commercial boat pack. We're going to go into our XML. We're going to go to the tuna boat. We are going to pull that on over here so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to go down to discharge. We're looking for a discharge node. Fill units. It's a lot of mumble jumble. Don't let your eyeballs pop as we scroll here. Yup, 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 baby. Here we go. No, not animations. This was a challenging mod to make. <laughs> Man, all the animations are just nuts. Hoses. Where are my discharge? Thought it was in here. Okay, well, if you don't want to show up on my eyes, we're going to do a search here and go discharge. And we're going to do backward direction so I can find it. Discharge Chovy. Da, da, da. Oh, it's right above it. Discharge, discharge Chovy. Empty speed. It's set at 300. Oh, we could probably bump that up to 3,000. We're actually going to hit save on that. Now, we can actually update this right here in, in the game. Pretty easy. There is a key right next to the one key right above the tab key. It's called the tilde key. We're going to tap that. Ooh, what's some errors? Can't load resources. Oh, that's just the, the store icon. I'm going to make a store icon off stream so you guys don't... Whenever I use giant software to make the icons, it just really wrecks my game. It My stream, at least. It'll do some weird stuff. But after we hit the tilde key, we're actually going to hit it again, and it'll give us this prompt to enter in some text. And what we're what we're going to type in is v GS capital vehicle capital reload space false 100. And that's what what it's going to do. It's going to those those changes we made in the XML. It's going to update it for here so we don't actually have to reload the map you only have to reload the map if you're making map air, map changes and uh placeable changes or design configuration changes there might be a couple other things but that's just what i can remember off my head so we're gonna hit update okay we updated one vehicle let's open back up our dev tools again and we are going to fill up some more tuna again and we're going to see if it empties a little faster for us this time. A lot faster. That is going 10. That's that's doable. That 300 was kind of harsh. I'm not going to lie. So one load of tuna will get you half a million. What's the going rate for tuna in real life right now? Let's see if I can find some. Albacore. Tuna price ton. Let's see what it is in real life. So price per pound is CA. What is CA? Is that dollar? That's not dollar, is it? Okay, we'll just use 19 something a pound. And that, what's liters to pounds? How many liters does this thing hold? 2,600 liters. I, I'm an American, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know uh, what liters to LBS. I don't even think that's a... I think one is a, a, a liquid conversion, and the other one is... use the formula blah, blah blah thank you for google and all that stuff one liter equals 2.2 .2 pounds of water yeah i mean giants is weird they use the liquid for measurements so we can go two point something so every liter is every 
every liter is roughly 40 bucks. 40 bucks. And we have 2,600 liters or 26,000 liters. So in real life, in real life, that load would be one, you know, a little over 1 million. Uh, tuna's expensive. I, I live in a tuna port right now. I don't want to make you guys rich. <laughs> I, I have to I have to limit you guys somewhere. It's either I limit the fill speed, which is quite limited, or I decrease the price. So it's already half the price that it normally would. But man, you can get rich doing this. Uh, we need to test some more other boats with this now. Uh, let's grab another fishing boat. Let's grab this whaler here. Make sure that the discharge nodes. What's going on, cowboy? How you doing, brother? Good to see you in here. Pantera Man says, ha, price matching, love it. I'm trying. I try to. Why I, I work in the in the fishing industry. I mean not, not right now because it's not the season, but I try to match stuff up and marry it. So let's buy this boat. Same ordeal. We're gonna try a couple different boats here. Oh, I had it. Let's jet this guy over here. We need to put some tune in it though first. Let's make sure that this one works. This is kind of a neat one. Uh, I'm trying to put more boats in here for you guys. I, for the longest time, I just had the one big boat we just looked at. But recently, I've added fishing poles to the back of this guy. And you can see, because I filled it up with tuna, we got some tuna right there in the back. It pops up. We can lower ourselves down in the water a little bit more. Uh, some of my boats, if you're not, uh, if they're not boats meant to haul vehicles and stuff like that. Sorry, I was reading chat, my brain went blah, 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 blah. If you're not hauling stuff, uh, the boats will go up and down. But if you, if it's a boat that you can load vehicles on and transport them, I have removed the the rise and low feature. See here, I can, I can pull the boat way out of the water or I can put the boat way in the water. And I did this so you could load it up on trailers and stuff like that. It's mainly the wheels. You see those wheels right there? They have to stay in contact with the ground. But if you get too high, you will tip over because you're gonna be top heavy like a big rusted. <clears throat> so that's what that feature is. And then to start fishing, we would, we're gonna get rid of that screen really fast. Uh, you would press X to deploy the lines and the lines go in the water when you're in the fishing zone and then you could start catching. Uh, the other commercial boat has really good animations and I didn't put animations on this one yet. So we're actually gonna pull those lines back in. Okay, so this boat works. Is there a certain point where that goes away? See, now we're completely on the ground. Raise it up. Oh, so let's uh, start selling. Sweet deal. So one load from this guy is 120,000. Okay, so that boat works nice and easily now. That is driving me nuts, that flashing thing. It's driving me absolutely bonkers. Where are you at? Where are you at? Eyeballs, don't fail me now. Where are you at? Yeah, I really love that feature to get the ramps at the right height when loading the heavies, yes. I had to remove it from some of the vehicles that haul because what happens is uh, you get these collisions that uh, the weight, as when you hit a bump on the, on the ground or the water, it starts bouncing and you get this crazy bounce going on. And I just removed it because that was causing too, like you overload a, a boat and it would really jack it up. Crap boat, tuna boat right there. We're gonna open that up and fix that right now while I'm thinking about it. Cause if not, I might forget it. And I'll be mad and frustrated that I never fixed it. Hey, look at that. We just need to pull it off the wall, just a hair. No, that should fix it. Hit save, close it. 
and we can can't even see it now we're gonna uplate all vehicles there we go no more flashy no more flashy while we're here I'll top over this boat we'll get in here and I'll show you how this works you deploy the outriggers I spent a lot of time on this one this is like my pride and joy of my fishing fleet you get in real close in here see the anchovies swim in in their circle and as you run out of bait this uh, this boat operates kind of like how uh, you need gas to operate but if you don't have snow or yeah snow and anchovies in here the boat won't even start it, it thinks it's fuel so that is one of the but I need to change that because I've been watching guys do hundreds of trips and it never goes down so I need to increase those eat limits just a little bit now once you're in the water you're able to start filling how this works we're gonna put this up I basically have it you see that little circle thing that's going up right now that is the exact fill root node now when it goes all the way up it pulls it out of the trigger location at the fishing spot so you can't actually fish until the the outrigger fill type thing is in the water or you know at a at a fillable level and then once it gets right to here the lines move out to the side and then we can start we're going to get rid of this screen we can what's called turn on the boat and this is fair if you want to play the game fair turn this on and then these animations start kicking on if I can change my camera view so you can see there's no tuna here now this animation is just for your love and eyeballs you don't actually have to do it to start filling up the boat there's you know I had to do a lot of tweaking to make this work for farm sim so you don't necessarily have to turn that on. If you want to be fair to yourself, it does burn more bait and it does burn more snow that way. Uh, but you don't need it on to actually start fishing. But you do need to be in a fish fill trigger for that to work. So let's try another fishing boat. Let's go with the bycatch boat. I like this little boat. It's a cool boat. I'm going to buy it. Buy it, drive over there, and here we go. I love this little boat. Get it off the land here so we can make it look a little realer. One thing I haven't done yet, we haven't looked at uh, the cell location at nighttime to see how it looks. We gotta do that this next go round when we drive over there. Though so this one, you can catch crab and tuna how it works is you unfold kind of the same thing you see that square thing up in the air or that trap is I don't even know what that is that trapezoid uh, when you release the net back see the net will go back right here it lowers the fill type box into the fill area so then you can start fishing Now you have, I'll re reiterate again, you have to be in one of the cell marker or one of the buy markers. I should have turned off save. I never have a save game. <laughs> I'm just gonna delete it when I'm done. But you have to be in one of these cell markers here. Now, if you want to make your own cell markers, we'll go into here really quick. We'll go to my tab over here. We're gonna go to commercial fishing. And I do have, we go right here. Uh, I have little, uh, you can basically build your own fishing areas just like this and you ha you would have to be inside of those in order to for them to work to have a crab and all that kind of stuff so we could technically put a crab anywhere you could be like average and put it right outside the cell station Cheater. <laughs> so instead of going fishing we're gonna fill her up here we're gonna fill and we're gonna fill up the crab too. So we should have full, full tuna. See some tuna in the net there now. And then when we pull the net in, <laughs> average, yep, works perfect. <laughs> You're funny, dude. I laugh at your stream. If there's a way to cheat, you figured it out. 
but when you bring all the when you bring that net all the way in the fish will transfer to your bucket now if you put your net back out they will go right back out there it's just an animation that happens and our buckets of crab fill up in the back when we have crab in here so let's go let's go over to our cell spot and while we're at it let's change the time of day here night ambiance love this little boat it's so simple the textures are not even great on it but I just like it the net idea that was one of my favorites now guys I got here in about 15 20 minutes i'm gonna have to end the stream here uh unfortunately my girlfriend ordered some amazon crap that's at the post office it's the weekend the post office isn't open on the weekend so i'm gonna have to remember to go do that or she will kill me she's out of town right now so probably about 20 more minutes on the stream kind of peaceful not gonna lie try to get creative with some of the objects I put in here like you got that boat like the front of that boathouse right there that you know it's attached to the atoll and here's our fish market that's lit up pretty good now we should be able to sell in here right when we enter the trigger but it's not giving us the sell. Let's raise up a little bit. Let's see, tip side fish, tip side crab. Okay. It's this boat in general that's not working. So let's go into here. Buy catch boat. Where is that discharge node at? Cables, joint box, fill cats, discharge nodes. See me moving around cars with a D11? That's funny. <laughs> Alright, my discharge my discharge node is too high or it's too low, I guess. So we're gonna go like that and raise it up, see if that fixes it for us. Did not why aren't you selling right here? Tip side fish, tip side crab. And you do not want to hit the unload button because what'll happen is it'll it'll get weird on you. Okay, I got something funky with this one going on. got something weird going on with this one I watched this issue the other day somebody playing with it and I forgot to come in here and play with it and get it fixed so you got fill units where is my discharge node with offset blank empty speed can discharge to ground something funky going on here Maybe I will jump this up a little bit. We'll just go four across the board here. I don't know if this is going to fix it. Should. Discharge speed index start tip time. That should fix it. If not, I'm going to have to do some... Why are you being weird? The other boat sold just fine, but you are not. Okay. Okay. That's how you want to play. Fine. Fine. I see how it is. I see how it is. So you can pull right up to the side of the dock right here. If you run into this issue, which you shouldn't, because I'm going to spend some more time tonight fixing it. Uh, my patience is not that high right now for it. 
but you can pull up on the left side of the boat and press I to unload. Wait, maybe, maybe. Not enough space to unload. Okay, well. Oh, oh we're stuck. What the hell? Should not have enough space to unload. Well, you should be working. Why aren't you working? This boat is just giving me trouble tonight. Tip side fish. Oh, look at that. I can unload crab now. Tip side crab. Tip side fish. So I have those reversed. So we're selling the crab now. So the problem lies in the tuna. Okay, well, you know, not everything's perfect. I have to fix that. There's a spot somewhere that, what if I deployed the net? Does it give me the option for the offload now? Not working, okay. So the crab's working and the tuna fish is not. Sometimes, sometimes the brain just doesn't know what the heart wants. That one's kind of broke. That's okay. That's okay. We'll figure that out. Figure that out and get that fixed. Not too big of a deal. If I can do it once, I can do it again. That's my logic in life here. So this is, uh, there's my fire I was talking about. Yeah. I think that's plenty of light at nighttime here. Got our shark. I'm gonna add sharks to the fishing pack too, so we can go fishing for sharks. That's a weird, weird lighting effect. Has to do with the light shader. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. That's not too bad. Do I got any other boats I need to check out? Any other fishing boats? I got the fishing rod. So let's buy the fishing rod show you how this thing works and we're gonna buy Tommy boy I love this truck one of my favorite trucks rum, 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 rum. I haven't changed the sounds anyways back to work here where's Tommy boy there he is did it change the time of day because it's way too dark. Come on, baby. Nine. All right. From here, we are going to grab this guy. Throw that up there. Now, I'm going to install these on all the boats. But if you look real closely right there, the fishing rod holder. What you're going to do is just set the butt of the fishing rod. Right right next to it like right there now I'm gonna put these fishing rods on all the boats so all these guys will have a spot for a fishing rod most of them that way if you're doing bulk runs or something like that and you just want to swing by the tuna ground on your way out you can grab some tuna so let's get in Tommy boy now and you can see I got that uh, the attachment confirmation there at the back and we'll click attach and now we got a fishing rod off the back And to unfold fishing pole, just press X. Once we get in the water, it'll look a little better. And boom, now you got a fishing pole off the back. Let's see if this thing sells. So we're gonna go salmon, anchovy, tuna. Let's just throw some tuna in there. Take this over and see if we can do a sell with that. Testing aspects of this gets to be frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of work. Definitely hope you guys enjoy this when I finally release it to you guys, because uh, my brain. My brain is melted on the floor several times in front of me. There's a little puddle. Almost like a spatooey can. The remnants of my my brain. If you guys are interested, just for 
a little bit on those people who raided a little bit earlier. If you like this kind of stuff, definitely hit that follow. If you're on the YouTube, you know to subscribe. Let's see if we can sell over here. Oh, it sold. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, we fell in that hole. <laughs> I forgot about that hole. There's still a hole right there. Whoops. <laughs> hey, but it sold our tuna. Uh, so that's that's good. It didn't even ask us if we wanted to sell it. It just started offloading. That one works. I'm kind of bummed about that. It kind of makes me mad. Just a hair. Gotta lower this down so we don't... Oh, what the hell? Come on, baby. Get out from underneath there. That's why it's better to have the boat at the water line. That way, you, when you bump into it, you don't get stuck on top of it. I'm super bummed about the fish, though. Definitely something in the coating. I don't think it was the discharge node at all. All the other boats work, so... We know it's not the placeable, it's the boat. Bad boat. You're a bad, bad boat, but I still love you. Just like a parent. Just wish you were better. I'm disappointed in you, boat. Very sad. Oh, this tuna is going to go to rot. Speaking of tuna, I have a bunch of tuna in my freezer that's whole. I got a bunch of buddies work on commercial boats, and they're like, Yeah, you want some tuna? And they just give me this whole fish. Ugh, sometimes it gets hard living in a fishing town. You get tired of eating fish. Oh, is there any other boat that I can try and test? Oh, there's a ton of boats in here. You guys like boats, man. This is this is gonna be your map. This guy, I love this guy. You guys want to play around with this really fast? This is a fun one. We're gonna buy. Then we're gonna buy the tug. Bye. cycle through everything again one more time I can't remember which side was the front which side the back okay so how this one works it'll take anything bulk the big bulk barge so wheat uh, wheat grains oh any of that kind of stuff anything that's considered bulk in game it'll take we get right to here. It should give me a attach point here. Maybe it's the other side. It is the other side. We're gonna get attached and get off the land here so it doesn't look funky. Look wonky hunky. Here we go, baby. Hey, straight face gaming. Thanks for popping on. Appreciate you. appreciate the follow. Try our best to get this situated properly here. So you could technically just push this thing, but I, I attached, I put attachers on it. Make it a little easier. This might get tricky. I can't remember if I get stuck right here when I'm attached or not. If you listen real closely, you can hear the water splashing. You know we're not in the water. Just a part of the sound file. I think we're gonna get stuck. Yeah, I'm at the unattach. The hell? What are we stuck on? That's just like hitting the wall there, huh? I'm in the process of remodeling this dock. This little bump right here gets annoying with some of these flat bottom boats. And you can go over there for right now. And just so we don't have to fight with it. Yeah, get over there. Bad boats. Bad boats. And I'm strong. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to have to drive this thing all around here, so let's rearrange it. Little bit, what's up? Welcome back. 
we are checking out just a couple more boats here. Uh, I need to take off here in about seven minutes or so. So I go run to the, the old post office and go get all the crap my girlfriend ordered for Christmas. I forgot yesterday and I forgot the day before. Oh, we're going to smack. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Wait, that was... I just... You know, in real life, these uh, these boats don't stop on a dime, so I really cut back on the brake force on them, trying to make them behave more like boats. All right, now we're attached, and we can start pushing her. Blue Doc Stevens. It's Super Lambo. Super Lambo to the rescue. Dun, 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 dun. One mod at a time taking over the world. So how this works, there's a little fill station right here. So we can come in here and start filling. Now this is going to be fixed when you guys get a version of the map. But this is such a cheat right here. You fill up with oats. Such a cheat. And I found it too. And I was like, okay, we got to fix that. It's going to take forever to fill up. There is a lot going on with the little town here. That's for dang sure. I'm not even going to lie on that one. And we're not going to do a full load. Just do enough to get in trouble here. Go on over here. And... There's a cell station right here. So yeah, average piece. Average if you want to, if you want to cheat before I fix it, this is the way to cheat. So we, we bought that for substantially less than what we're gonna sell it for. I think I maybe spent ninety thousand. I don't know, my money's so maxed out I can't tell how much I spent. But it will tell me how much I made. I've done a lot of, you know, I've made, I, yeah, half a million. I, I spent 90,000 and made half a million. <laughs> Such a cheat. Just little things like that escape me until it doesn't, you know? But I've had enough time working on this Bobby T that I've kind of tinkered with all the boats enough to know how to make them behave like a boat as best as I can. So like when I let off the gas right now, now if this was a truck, you guys would be like, what the hell? You know, but because it's a boat, you halfway expect it to keep up its momentum, right? Not to just stop because there's no transmission or anything like that to stop it, to break it. Well, it sits there and rolls forever. And then I did make it. We're going to unattach from this really quick. Oh, that was the wrong dang button. That was definitely the wrong button. Okay, we're going to unattach now, hitting Q. We're going to hop off. And I put collisions on the side of these as best as I could. I don't overdo it with collisions, but so you can actually come over here. And if you get in a bind with this thing, if you get in a bind with this thing, you can actually enter it. It is a vehicle as well. So if you get stuck somewhere or something like that, you cannot get it. You can enter it. It doesn't go very fast. I, I'm not going to let it go very fast at all. I just wanted you to be able to maneuver it and move it around enough. But you could just imagine this like, uh, you know how you guys are farming and then you have these trailers that you just fill up. Uh, while you're filling up one, the guy is running the other one out to go sell. Kind of the same same process. Yes, James, I am a fisherman. It's, uh, I've been fishing as long as I've been modding, actually. I started fishing when I got out of the military about seven years ago. And uh, while I was out on the ocean, I was out fishing for tuna on the ocean, I was learning about how to make mods. So I'd have to download videos and tons of different resources making mods and when I would come in I would upload and if you search around enough you'll find some of my FS17 or FS15 mods that are just garbage 
<laughs> you know, it's still floating on the interwebs. But I've slowly, I wouldn't say I'm good, but I know enough to get in trouble. I can maintain being a little bit humble, you know. I definitely don't know more than most. But I know enough to make something neat that I enjoy. A lot of this, you know, if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, this is what I enjoy. I like military, I like tanks, I like boats. Uh, also throughout the map there is some boats that you can just hop in. We'll go drive to a couple right now and I'll show you. Now you can't sell these, these are just maps. These are just on the map, usable. A toll for life, baby. Gang sign. Whoop, whoop. And a couple more over here. I, I didn't want static boats in the game. I really didn't want static boats. I wanted you to be able to get in all of them. So uh, during first player, uh, so if you're playing this on a server, farm one has access to these boats. It doesn't go very fast though. You wouldn't expect it to go very fast. It's a little dinky room room motor. Yeah, that's how that goes. Yes. Always, Dad. In this case, anybody that know, Doc 300 ZX is my father. My loyal supporting fan. Dad, why haven't you done a super chat, huh? You need to donate to my candy fund. I haven't bought any candy, I'm broke. Come on, Dad. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's chilling on the side. I think there's another one over here. They're, they're kind of spread out throughout. See, there's another one right here. Ugh. Now, if you can't get in it, I left the cover on it. You know, a little bit of static on here, but most of the boats on here you can get onto just kind of neat. Uh, eventually I'll have some submarines and some other stuff. Well, that's cool, James. I appreciate that. It's a, it's a neat hobby. I'm not going to lie. Let me up. Uh, now, since you guys are... yeah, I didn't say loan me money. I said give me money. That's a huge difference, okay? Huge difference. One, I have to pay back. One, it goes in my belly. I told you. My candy fund. Now, if you don't want to contribute to candy, I do have a cavity. I need like 380 bucks to go get that fixed. <laughs> I don't know if my insurance covers dental anymore. Uh, so here is your little teaser, or not teaser. Here's your, for watching the stream today, this is what you get to know about. There is a collectible up here. All right? They're all around the map. They're Mr. Clean. If you don't know about Mr. Clean, when you get the map, you need to go to the Mr. Clean tent and learn about the Mr. Clean. But these little all these little signs are all over the map. Boom! You found a rare painting of the Holy Clean. <laughs> Sweet. That's the map, guys. I've still got a ton of work to do, and I appreciate all your support you do. Uh, we're gonna find somebody on the Twitch side to raid into YouTube. Sorry, they don't have the raid function here. I have to go to the post office. I have exactly 28 minutes to make it there before they close, and then I gotta tell the girlfriend, explain to her why I have to wait all weekend for her packages. So thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. Uh, we're gonna pop on over here, see if there's anybody to raid into together. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Thank you so much, Pantera. Thank you so much, everybody else, for watching. I don't know how to raid. This would be my first raid. Raid channel. Let's see, Barry, Locknut, Scuba Steve. Let's raid Locknut. I don't know if you guys know Locknut at all, but he's playing Farm Sim, so we'll raid into him. Make sure to catch me on. I'll probably be streaming again tomorrow, guys. So see you then. Thanks for being here. Adios, amigos.